Now at five, people had to evacuate two local high schools this morning after a bomb threat. Good evening to you. Students and staff evacuated after someone found a note that contained a bomb threat referencing four local high schools. Teaching was paused in some buildings for no longer than an hour before police gave the all clear. News Channel 15's Gina Gleros joins us with the story. Gina? Officials say these false alarm situations are more common than the real deal, but they take them just as seriously. Students at Southside High School shuffled back inside Tuesday morning. This after someone found a bomb threat note. Discovering this at 740 with a uh, detonation time of 745 gave us very little time to really respond. The threat also referenced Wayne, Northside, and Northrop High Schools. Fort Wayne police immediately notified them. Southside students were evacuated to the football stadium. Wayne was also evacuated. But students at Northside and Northrop were not. Each principal worked with police and made the decision. So anyone who thinks we might have a specific pattern, um, we don't. It's Every situation is different and even on the same day with the same note, um, school by school, it might be a little bit different. By the time officers arrived, it was past the time that the alleged bomb was going to go off and nothing was found. It's just not how it impacts you, the individual responsible for this, or the school. It, it impacts many people. It impacts the resources that we have to remove from the street to respond to this. The all clear was given around 8.30 a.m. We know it's probably not a real threat. We still take it very seriously because it could be a real threat. Police don't know yet who wrote that note. We'll find out who's responsible. And the individual or individuals responsible have to realize up front that, number one, the best thing to do is admit to this. Students at all high schools will get a letter to take home if that hasn't already been done, and each household should receive a phone call explaining what happened. FWCS spokeswoman Krista Stockman said several parents asked whether they should pick up their kids. She said if they ever need you to, they will establish protocol and let you know. Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.